Hello, everyone. I'm Ren Ishibashi. I'd like to talk about post-quantum anonymous one-sided authenticator key exchange without random oracles. This is a joint work with Kazuki Yoneyama. This presentation proceeds as follows. First, introduction. Second, this new model for OS AK. Third, proposed generic construction for OS AK in the standard models. Fourth, instantiation. Finally, conclusion. Let's start by the introduction. Authenticated key exchange, so called AK. AK is a cryptographic protocol to share common session key among multiple parties through an authenticated networks such as the internet. In this study, we focus on it between two parties. Each party has a static key pair, and in the key exchange session, each party generates an ephemeral circuit key, ESK, and generates an ephemeral public key, EPK, by using these keys and send it to the other party. Then, each party computes a common session key using these keys. So, the ordinary AK is mutual authentication. However, in practice, mutual authentication is not required for some applications. For example, HTTPS transactions with only server authentication. In this example, the server returns a static public key and each certificate in response to the client's request. Then, the client authenticates the server using these. And then, exchange keys. So, for key exchange without client authentication, one-sided AK may be sufficient. In this paper, the AK with one-sided authentication is called always AK. In addition, it is desirable for clients to be anonymous. For example, to anonymity network. When the client connects to their destination, it passes through multiple relays. In the red channel, uh, one-sided anonymous communication is used. So, each relay cannot identify the sender. And finally, the exit relay communicates with the destination through normal communication. In this way, the client can communicate with the destination with keeping his anonymity. So, in anonymous networks such as the Tower and the Refu, anonymous OS AK is required. If OS AK is represented with the figure showed in the page 3, OS AK is, is remove the client SSK since it doesn't require client authentication. Next, I'll show the existing anonymous OS AK schemes. The GSU 12 proposed security model for OS AK to be used in, the, in this study. And the BKM 12 and GK15 schemes are guaranteed and a weaker freshness setting than the original one. And the GK15 consists of Rattis and DH. And in some case, the scheme is not post quantum, so it is partially post quantum scheme. These schemes are proved in the random oracle model. So, as our contribution, we propose generic constructions, one in the standard model and one in the random oracle model. The ones in the, random, uh, in the standard model can consist of industry secure cam and industry secure cam with public key independent cipher text called PKIC cam. While the ones in the random oracle model can consist of OWCCA secure cam and OWCP a secure PKIC cam. These constructions are guaranteed under the original GC model. In addition, we propose five instantiation. In each base schemes, the one in, random, in the random oracle model is under the CDH assumption. And the one in the standard model is first anonymous OS AK schemes. And these schemes are smaller online computational cost of clients than existing schemes. In the post-quantum schemes, the ones in the random oracle model are 
SIDH based and CSID based schemes. And one in the standard model is only CSID based schemes, but the first anonymous OSA gay scheme. Here, it is described as fully post quantum because the existing schemes is not post quantum under some leakage patterns, but all schemes are post quantum and are all leakage patterns. Next, I'll explain the GSU model. The GSU model allows the adversary to wiretap and modify and reveal previous session key and reveal ephemeral secret key and reveal static secret key, just like the EGK model. Also, as an additional query, it allows the adversary to obtain the APKs used in each party in advance. So, in the GSU model, there is a query called reveal next. It allows the adversary to obtain APKs for session in advance. That's why APKs for session must be able to be generated in advance of flying. In addition, due to the flying generation, the freshness is a bit unique. It considers leakage for secret key except for all leakage of each party. So, repairing secret key are ESK and SSK must be considered from each. For example, the secret key used in a session are RC and RT for the client and RS and the guess for the server, we need, we need to consider repairing one each, such as RC and RS, or RC and the guess, or RT or and RS, or RT and the guess. In addition to this, there are other OS AK models, such as for TRS, the setting, but those models are the application to the setting of anonymous networks is not considered and the anonymity is not focused. So we focus on the GC model. Next, I introduce the proposed generic construction of OS AK in the standard model. So by removing the quant SSK from the generic construction of AK in FSXY15, it looks we can simply construct OS AK. So I'll show you an example of the construction. The FSXY construction consists of industry secure SecureCam and industry secure SecureCam. And the syntax is as follows. First, I'll show the uh, FSXY construction. The schemes use this trick and uh, call the twisted PRF trick to provide a leakage resilience. So each party has SSKs to, the, to use for this trick. And each party has the key pair of CCKM, DKS as SSK and EKS uh, as SPK. In the key exchange session, first, the client generates two randomness for the toric and generates our randomness for the CPA cam. And it generates a randomness based on the toric. Then it generates our ciphertext and the key for the CPA cam and generates our key pair for the CPA cam. And sends CC and EKT to the server. Upon Receiving this, the server generates randomness just like their client and generates ciphertext and keys for the CCAM and the CBAM and return the ciphertext. Finally, each party decrypts the ciphertext with its own decryption key to obtain the shared value. Here, if we remove the client's SSK, we get the naive FSXY based construction like this. The trick on the client side and the computation of the situation and the trick on the server side are removed. So, this is a protocol without the removed parts. 
it looks we can construct over a gay. However, there, there are two problems with this construction. First, by considering the reveal of secret value one each, it is easy to compute camp keys. For example, RTC and DKS are revealed. The adversary can generate DKD from RTC and decrypt CD with DKT. Also, it can decrypt CC with DKT, DKS. Therefore, it is difficult to construct on FSXY based. As a solution to this problem, we propose a technique to generate two randomness from one randomness. It uses a suit random function to generate from one randomness in this way. Then, by relation RC and RTC in this part, the reveal target for the client can be only this R. Here, I'll show how to generate randomness for the technique concretely. We generate, generate as follows. First, generate one randomness. Second, it uses a suit random function to generate two different values in the suit random function space. Finally, it uses two suit random function to generate two values in each randomness space. Here, can we omit in intermediate RC prime and RTG prime? Okay, I'll, I'll show that this case. In this case, we generate randomness in this way. But in this example, the OS AK security cannot be reduced to the CCA security or the CPS security. For example, the game randomized the CCA cam key. In the game, the randomness, the randomness of the CCA cam is converted to the output of the random function in this way. In this case, when OS AK ad adversary activate the test session, the in CCA simulator need to return the CCA prime and Shishista and EKD star. But since simulator does not know uh, our star, so it cannot return the correct EKD star. So it cannot simulate correctly. So we use three pseudo random functions in the technique. Next. The second problem is EPKs. This EPKs uh, cannot be generated offline in FSXY based construction. In this construction, the server generates CD based on the EKT received from the client. So, offline generation is not possible. As a solution to this problem, we use PKIC CAM for industry CAM. The PKIC cam allows ciphertext to be generated independently to the public key. In this way, the ciphertext uh, can be generated independently to the this EKT. So applying it to the protocol, we get the following protocol. So in this way, all EPKs can be generated offline before the session activates. In addition, for efficiency, by reversing the PKIC cam flow in this way. So we can reduce computation for W keychain. Now, I'd like to consider about, about security of our construction. From the freshness, if the party has only one secret key, there is no need to consider regage. So, the client side leakage is not considered. Therefore, since the server's reveal target is target are RS and DKS, so the leakage pattern to be considered are only RS or only DKS. 
first leakage of arrays. In this case, the adversary can compute KT from arrays in this way, but cannot compute KC without knowing this arrays or this all. Therefore, it is secure. Next, a leakage of DKS. In this case, the adversary can compute KC with DKS, but cannot compute KD without knowing RS or this R. Therefore, it is secure. So uh, next, about anonymity of clients, the clients never send information dependent to him, ID and static key, etc. in each session. So the adversary cannot get any information about the client from the ciphertext. Next, I will introduce our uh, instantiation. This is a comparison over DH based schemes and existing schemes. The OR2 is the first anonymous OS AK schemes uh, in the standard models. And both schemes reduce the online, uh, online exponentiation cost for clients. Finally, the existing schemes are under the gap DH assumption, but OR1 is under the standard CDH assumption. And over two is under the standard DJ DDH assumption. The next instantiation is the first quantum schemes from isogenies in the random oracle model. First, the SIDH based schemes consist of CJ Secure, Psychchem, and Industry PA Secure, PKE, from SSC20. Here, this PK is converted to be to convert to OWCPA secure PK cam, and then it is used. Next, the she said based schemes consist of the she said secure she said PC cam from Yon twenty one, and she said secure she said cam from CRM eighteen. Here, this cam is converted to the PK cam. Uh, in the same way. So these schemes are the first post quantum schemes in the random oracle model. Here, I introduce how to transform the psych PK to PK IC cam. First, we remove the first and fifth computation in ENC and the second and third uh, computation in DEC. Since we use the PK as the CAM. And since our generic construction in the random Oracle model is sufficient for the OWCP secure CAM. So the, this J invariant is used as a CAM key without passing it through the random Oracle. Next, we use the first, first and second computation. Uh, in ENC as this WNC and the third computation as this WNK, K, W N K K. And then we can use it uh, as PKC cam by transforming it as follows. The rest instantiation is the first quantum skips in the random uh, in the standard model but only seaside based schemes. The schemes consist of the CCHM, CCHM and the smooth projective hashing from AFMP20 and seaside chem from CRM18. Here, we pass the session key of the chem through the entropy smoothing hash function and construct it, uh, construct it uh, as hash seaside chem and also this cam is converted to the PKH cam in the same way. So uh, the schemes is the first post quantum scheme in the standard model. Finally, conclusion. 
So we propose generic construction for OS AK, uh, anonymous OS AK, the ones in the standard model and the ones in the random Oracle models. Also, we propose gener uh, web generic construction and we also propose instantiation of the generic construction. So uh, when the DH-based schemes is the first DH-based anonymous OS AK schemes in the standard model. And the ones uh, based uh, isogenies uh, are the first post-quant anonymous OS AK schemes. That's it from me. Thank you all for listening.